What's up everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the sky. And you'll be like, wait, what? Replace the sky? What do you mean? Yeah, you can do a sky replacement. Of course, not in real life, but inside of After Effects. So this is the effect that we are going to create. Let's see here. You can see the sky is nice and clean, locked up to the movement of the shot. Everything looks pretty good. And that's it. And if I was supposed to show you guys the raw footage, which is this one, you can see that, you know, not so cool. So, yeah, if you've shot a footage and your sky is blown out in white, you can change the sky very easily. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, just make sure you do it now. Click on the subscribe button and click on this notification bell so that you get the notification whenever uh, I post a new tutorial and make sure to share your comments you know with me in the comment section of the tutorial any questions queries you might have so yeah let's get started uh, I'm gonna go to the footage folder inside the composition inside the project window and I have the raw footage so I'm gonna just uh, drop it to the new com button and the thing about it is it's uh, full HD 1920 by 1080 which is pretty big but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it small so I'll go to the composition settings I'll make it 1280 by 720 okay and I'll right click and transform fit to comp or you can just hit uh, control alt F and then I'm gonna start from the 10 second mark hit B or you can just hit, uh, do it manually but B is the shortcut right click trim comp to work area and since we're going to be tracking this footage you can see that if I hit S the scale is 66 uh, which uh, After Effects is going to assume that it is scaled down but the thing is it needs to be 100% so in order to do that you just need to go to layer pre-compose and we'll go name this footage and now if it S the scale is 100%. So in order to uh, do the sky replacement, first you need to do the tracking because uh, if this shot is moving, if the shot was static in one frame, it was very easy. We need we didn't need any tracking, but in this case, the shot the camera is panning, so we need the camera track. So if you don't have the tracker here, you just go to the window and go to the tracker and click on track motion. Uh, sorry, track camera and it will just track the footage and it may take a while so I'll be back when it's done so the tracking is done and as you can see it's created all these points in the 3d space and uh, to choose the point you just need to like choose a point between the two shots of your footage the right left side and the right side kind of in between so I'll go here I'll maybe pick I may pick uh, like you make sure you want to pick these green points because the red points and the other point uh, these green ones are like healthy ones and the red ones are like not so accurate so you just right click on a green one and just uh, create null in camera and that's it like here's you have uh, here you have your null object if I hit s you can scale it up so you can see it better and yeah that's it for the tracking now what I'm gonna do is I'll just bring the sky footage the clouds which I have it here and I got this image off of Google. You can search, uh, like many images are there. Just uh, put it underneath. And in order to see it, uh, it's underneath. So we need to remove this white color. So in order to remove this white color, we just uh, need to apply an effect called Luma Key. There's many fill, uh, effects, but this one is good, works well. So I'm gonna use the Luma Key, put it on the footage and key out the brighter and you can just uh, increase the threshold so that you get uh, to a point where you like it for me a value of around 250 works quite well but the problem is these edges are you know very sharp and edgy so just uh, increase the edge 10 to 1 and increase the feather maybe something around 80 or something which looks cool and now we just need to match up the color of the footage and the sky but before we do that you can see that sky is just there it's not linked to the movement of the camera so what you can do is make it 3d because we did a 3d camera track and just link it 
to the null object and now it just moves around with the null object but the problem is it is uh, you know we just need to adjust the position we'll just move it here maybe we can just take the rotation tool and just rotate it this much and now if I move around you can see that it moves along with the footage which is pretty cool and if you want to you can scale it down also it is pretty big you can hit S and scale it down maybe this much and now you can see that it moves accordingly okay might be a bit of cutoff so we just move it so that it works well and yeah it's looking good now we just need to match the colors so I'll just go to the footage I'll add the curves effect for from the color correction and I'll just give it a bit of contrast so that it's not that much white and I will need to make it a bit blue because the sky color will reflect on the ground and affect the environment so I'll just go to the red make it less a bit I'll go to the blue channel and I'll increase a bit maybe this much is fine and the sky also needs a bit of color correction so I'll select the cloud and add the curves and something like this and maybe if it's a little too blue you can just add the tint effect which is going to be here and decrease it to maybe like 30 percent or even more if you want to but that's basically the idea now uh, I want to show you guys a very interesting technique to remove all these uh, like edgy things from the trees because these are usually what the problem is with that when dealing with sky replacement so I came up with a very cool technique that I'm gonna show you you just add the hue and saturation effect and go to see these uh, edges are kind of yellow and red so I'm just gonna go to the yellow channel and bring the yellow saturation to zero and also go to the red and bring the red saturation to zero. Now you can see that they're blending pretty well. Just there's no color in the edges, so it just looks a bit more better, and you know it just works a lot more better uh, and blends with the sky. And if I turn this off, you can see a big difference there, and it helps a lot. So this was a good trick. And now, uh, in order to blend them together more, we just need to create a new right-click new. Or go to layer new adjustment layer and I'll add the glow effect which is kind of uh, will give it a, an overall sort of glow but obviously this is too intense so I'm just gonna hit T on this and I'll make it like 24 yeah that looks good and now uh, I'll just hit enter and make it glow and I'll add a new adjustment layer and I'll add the curves effect to do another color correction an overall sort of color correction which which is gonna make it look cool and yeah that is the effect if we scrub through it this is our sky replacement done very cool uh, it's locked to the movement and now you got control over it you can change to any image that you want you can add a video also anything you want and finally uh, I have this uh, bad weather sort of effect if you want you can do it which is basically a combination of some effects if you go here I'll just add a new adjustment layer uh, make sure it is on top of everything and I will add a tint effect color correction tint maybe 30 percent and there's another effect called tritone if you add it it's just gonna give it like a color like a three color maybe I'll change it to blue based on what I want and yeah just blend it with the original and I'll add another curves to make it even darker kind of a bad weather sort of effect and maybe we'll increase the tent amount also so that kind of like yeah looks cool and yeah, that's uh, that's how you change all the colors and manipulate them as you like. But for now, just turn this off and stick with this one, which looks pretty cool. Sky replaced with a panning, moving camera, uh, tracking, color correction, edge, you know, edge compositing techniques. Yeah, so I hope you like this uh, tutorial, guys. And if you do, 
uh, just give it a thumbs up share your comments with me any questions any problems you might have you can share and I'll be glad to answer them and make sure to subscribe to my channel again and turn on this uh, bell icon so that you receive the tutorial whenever I upload it okay so yeah that was the today's tutorial and uh, till the next one enjoy working